Hello Scorpio, welcome to another love reading. This one is going to be all about your person, the person that you are thinking about or connecting with at this time. What are their feelings and intentions towards you? Keep in mind that these readings are meant to be general, so they will not and cannot resonate with every Scorpio watching every single time. So take what resonates for you and leave the rest. So let's jump right in for Scorpio. Spirits, angels, guides, messages, guidance, please, for Scorpio at this time. What do we need to know for Scorpio regarding love? Scorpio, this is going to be a reading for those of you that are already in some sort of a connection or you have someone in mind. Okay, so let's see for Scorpio, what do we need to know? Regarding love. All of the decks that I use are in the description box if you want to check them out. All right, what's going on in your connection? Ace of Cups, Reverse, The Lovers, Gemini Energy, and Nine of Swords. Ooh, okay, so anxiety, stress over a partnership. I feel like there's heartbreak here, disappointment. Okay, then I'm going to put your energy here on this side and then the person's energy on this other side. Um, feel free to flip the energies if they resonate more for you. Seven of Cups Reverse at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so Seven of Cups Reverse sometimes could be the wrong choice. Uh, seven of Cups Reverse could mean that you made a choice out of many. It really depends on the other cards, you know, surrounding this energy, but... We'll see if this is if this was a wrong choice, it's going to show up in this spread, you know, and the other cards here that we have. OK, so already I can tell that there's something going on in this partnership. You could be dealing with a Gemini. Does not have to be. I feel like the lovers is here just to tell me that this was a strong connection or is a strong connection. Um, and it's just something must have happened because I have the nine of swords with the Ace of Cups reverse. So the Nine of Swords is a card about like anxiety, stress, uh, fear. You can't sleep very well, you can't rest. So someone's worried about something. We'll see what this is all about. Tell me about the Ace of Cups reverse. Why is the Ace of Cups reverse? The Emperor, Aries energy, masculine energy here. This could be a, a masculine energy that is heartbroken or caused the heartbreak. Tell me more about the Ace of Cups reverse. It's interesting because the, the Emperor is typically not an emotional person. Can I get one more for the Ace of Cups reverse? Okay, of course I get like more than one. Yeah, Queen of Swords and Justice. So this emperor might be um, interested in balance, Libra energy with justice, um, addressing something uh, directly. There's really not a lot of emotion here with the queen of swords and the emperor. Justice also doesn't care about emotions. Justice is all about being objective and fair. So, hmm. Ten of swords at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like, you know, it could, I could, I could look at this in a few ways. I feel like this emperor is dealing with their emotions, their disappointment, the fact that there was a difficult ending in a very unemotional, direct, logical way. Six of Cups after that. I can also take this as this emperor caused a lot of heartbreak and disappointment and they want to make things right. We'll see what else comes out here. Why is the lovers here? Why is the lovers here? Eight of Pentacles. Focus, effort, energy. Dedication. Yeah, this is about a partnership, two of cups. You know, the lovers is typically a card about a choice. 
but I just didn't pick up that energy when I put it down, when I saw this, all of these energies together. I knew this was about a partnership. If you're interested in learning, you know, about tarot and how to interpret the tarot for love, then check out my book. I have a whole book all about that. I go into all the cards upright and reverse, and that's linked in the description box. It's available on Amazon. But I feel like, you know, whatever is happening with this partnership, someone still wants to work on it. There's still someone that's interested enough to want to have fairness and balance. This could be you. This could be your person. Tell me about the Nine of Swords. Why is the Nine of Swords here? Why is the Nine of Swords here? Four of Swords, Four of Pentacles. The devil at the bottom of the deck. So interesting. Capricorn energy. So four of pentacles is a card kind of about holding back, holding on to something. And the four of swords. So when I see these two, four of swords is like ref, um, reflecting, healing, resting. When I see these two cards together, I think of someone that's not speaking. They're holding back. Instead, they're trying to think about something um, or can't really make moves right now because the four of swords is not moving neither is the four of pentacles they're just very stationary so i feel like someone's thinking about something worried about something that they can't really make a move about or can't really talk about and it makes sense because i have the devil here the devil is a card about restriction being attached being chained Someone here is probably feeling very restricted, stuck, and they're worried. Hmm. Can I get one more about the Nine of Swords? Why is the Nine of Swords here? Ten of Wands, yeah. They're not dealing very well with this. Again, balance, six of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Balance is very important for this person. Giving, taking, you know, figuring things out. I feel like this is somebody that wants to give to this connection, but can't. Yeah, page of pentacles. They can't even give something small. Very interesting. So let's look at your energies between you and this other person. Can I get some insight spirit on the energies between Scorpio and this other person? Now, Scorpio, remember what I said earlier? I have you on one side, your person on the other. You can flip the energies. They resonate more. Tell me about Scorpio's energy. What it is the energy that Scorpio is bringing to this connection. Wow, that one just like flew out. Deep regret, remorse, guilt, responsibility. There's regret over past actions. So you might be having some sort of regrets here, Scorpio, over the past. Tell me about this person that Scorpio is or will be dealing with. What are their energies in this connection? Taking action, time to make a move. So this person's thinking about what, you know, action, obviously, making a move of some sort. Broken silence is at the bottom of the deck. Um, so maybe they're ready to speak up or, or willing or thinking about speaking up. Okay. I wasn't going to use this deck, but when I saw it here, I wanted to grab it. So can I get some more energies, please, for Scorpio? Excuse me. Spirit, tell me more about Scorpio's energy. Scorpio's energy in this connection. Very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Okay, tell me about Scorpio's person. What are their... Release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. Passion at the bottom of the deck. Maybe this person's letting someone else go, Scorpio. Maybe you let them go, and that's 
sparking action on their part. I think I have one more. So can I get one more energy for Scorpio and this other person? Tell me about Scorpio's energy in this connection. Tell me about Scorpio's energy. Bear. So you're thinking about new beginnings here, starting over, starting fresh. Um, you have regrets over the past and perhaps that's renewing your desires for something new. Tell me about Scorpio's person. What do we need to know about their energies? Wow, yeah, Phoenix. So they're undergoing some sort of transformation on their own. You're both marrying each other. The Phoenix is kind of like burning everything up. Everything is kind of like burning up and being new. So let's look at your energy here. Three of Pentacles reversed, the higher font reversed, Ten of Wands. So you have the Ten of Wands here again. Burdens, obligations, weights. The higher font reversed, Taurus energy. Typically that's a card about like a broken commitment or something like that. And Three of Pentacles reversed, something's not working. There's no collaboration. Let's see. Tell me about the Three of Pentacles reverse. The Sun. Tell me about the Three of Pentacles reverse. The Hermit, Virgo energy. This is clarity. Someone's getting clarity, and this is on your side, Scorpio. You're getting clarity about what's not working for you. I feel like you're doing some soul searching about what truly makes you happy. Tell me about the higher font reverse. Why is the higher font reverse? Six of Wands and Nine of Cups. Can I get one more for the higher font reverse? This could also be that you are rebelling against what's expected of you. The Lovers and the Five of Cups. Yeah, Gemini energy again. And the Five of Cups with the King of Swords at the bottom of the deck. So someone's thinking about this with that. Like, it's not an emotional realization. It's not an emotional. It's more about, like, clarity. I feel like you have an idea of what would make you happy. You have an idea of what success looks like. Um, I feel like you're thinking about the past a lot. Um, maybe because whatever choices you made in the past led you to the, where you are now. And I think you're thinking about a partnership. I don't know if this is a partner you're already with or a partner from the past because it, I see both ways. Um, but I feel like with the higher font reverse, it's almost like you're rebelling against what others might think make you happy or your connection, if you are in a, in a long term commitment or a commitment right now, it's not what you thought would you know it's, it's it's not suck it's not working out because i have the three of pentacles reverse and the ten of wands is here so clearly you're not happy and i think because you're not happy you're thinking about new beginnings tell me about the ten of wands why is the ten of wands here Yeah, again with the Six of Pentacles, there's the energy about balance. Tell me about the Ten of Wands, giving to something. Yeah, the Fool. So you're thinking about dropping a burden and moving on. Something new. You want a new beginning elsewhere. The Star at the bottom of the deck, Aquarius energy. This is about hope, having hope or faith in a new beginning, um, healing. So let's look at your person's energy. Wow, the King of Swords reverse. Yikes. Four of Pentacles again. And the Nine of Pentacles reverse. Well, the Nine of Pentacles reverse is someone that's not free, not independent, attached. 
Four of Pentacles, this is someone that's holding on to something, holding back. We'll have to see. King of Swords reverse. Te technically, they tend to be deceptive um, or difficult to talk to, difficult to deal with. We'll see what this is about. Why is the King of Swords reverse? Why is the King of Swords reverse? Eight of Swords. Why is the King of Swords reverse? Eight of Cups. Why is the King of Swords reverse? The Hangman. The Tower at the bottom of the deck. Yikes. So I feel like this person is stuck with the Hangman and the Eight of Swords. This is someone that is feeling restricted and stuck and they're thinking about walking away and perhaps when they walk away they're going to cause a tower and deal with this king of swords reverse tell me about the four of pentacles what's this four of pentacles about king of cups tell me about the four of pentacles five of swords seven of swords at the bottom of the deck okay um, I feel like this person's hiding what they truly feel um, because perhaps they might have to screw someone over or hide from someone or do something that maybe will make them look bad. This could be somebody that would need to deceive another person. Um, yeah. Interesting. If they are releasing a partner, that makes sense. Um, it's very strange because the King of Cups is not a, a manipulative person. The King of Cups is not someone that typically deceives. They're usually very open about how they feel and very mature, emotionally mature. So that's why I think that this is someone who maybe they feel they have to be this way because of whatever attachment they might have, you know? They could just not be, like, they could be planning in secret and not telling anybody what they're planning or thinking, and that is, like, wrong. Can I get one more for this Four of Pentacles? Yeah, Queen of Wands. So I feel like this is someone that needs to make a choice with the Two of Wands here at the bottom of the deck. Um, and it could be a choice between two people, a choice between two different paths, etc., and, you know, no matter which choice he, he or she has to make here, this King of Cups, I feel like they're going to be screwing over someone <laughs> or it's just not going to be like the best choice. Like each of these paths have some sort of attachment, you know, it's kind of what I'm thinking here. Yeah, there's the devil again. Just wanted to show up and appear. So tell me about the Nine of Pentacles reverse. This, like I said, is like not being free, being attached. Why is the Nine of Pentacles reverse? Knight of Swords. Why is the Nine of Pentacles reverse? Four of Wands. Four of Wands is, an, again, another card about harmony, stability, happiness, home, happy home. Yeah, Ten of Cups. I feel like this is somebody that probably they need a lot of courage. Yeah, strength and the tower. So they probably need a lot of courage and strength to do what to call the tower, to take this action, to have this phoenix energy. You know, the phoenix is like the tower. It's something completely new, something that's, you know, burnt up in order to be new again. I feel like this person... They'll probably talk to you or talk to someone. I feel like this is like the take action card, you know, like someone that's moving forward very quickly or uh, communicating. Can I get one more for this Knight of Swords? Why is the Knight of Swords here? Yeah. The chariot cancer energy so moving forward for sure the world's at the bottom of the deck 
yeah, this is someone that's ready to make some sort of move into a new cycle. Um, maybe they're thinking about leaving a home, a family, etc. Or just thinking about leaving in order to be happy. I see both ways there. Let's get some insight into what this person is thinking or feeling about you. Can we get some insight into what this person is thinking or feeling about Scorpio? What are they thinking or feeling about Scorpio? What are they thinking or feeling about Scorpio? I'm working on myself. Okay, can we get one more? What are they thinking or feeling? About Scorpio I'm ready to commit I, f I, I heard um, once I said I'm ready to commit I heard to this idea so it's not like they're ready to commit to you specifically Scorpio um, I'm not just gonna say it's something just because you know if I hear something or I, I feel something specific that I will, I will men mention it so that's why I feel like I'm working on myself is here because this is someone that is working on committing to this idea of burning everything up and starting over that's not easy okay let me get one more with this hidden truth oracle Can I get some insight, please, for Scorpio? What is this person thinking, feeling, when it comes to Scorpio? What are they thinking, feeling, when it comes to Scorpio? It was my fault, but I blamed you. Bottom of the deck, I hid who I really am from you. Wow, okay. Well, I mean, I don't have anything else to say <laughs> after that. I think that message is very clear. It was their fault. They weren't completely honest with you. They blamed you. But now I feel like they're realizing that maybe they're ready to leave a situation they currently are in to have a new beginning with you because this is a very strong connection a soulmate type of connection with the lovers and the two of cups perhaps you were always meant to be together um maybe you went different paths and are finding each other again otherwise i'll leave it here thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed the reading i hope that you got insight into how you are feeling about each other and what's going on in your connection um, hit that like button and subscribe if you enjoyed the reading and want to see more readings from me. And I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.